Zollinger Elson syndrome. Zollinger Elson syndrome was named after two physicians known as Robert Zollinger and Edwin Ellison, and it is a severe peptic ulceration of the stomach mucosa caused by a gastrin secreting pancreatic ileus non beta cell tumor known as a gastrinoma. And this tumor can cause steatorrhea due to reduced intestinal pH and denaturing pancreatic enzymes. Zollinger Elson may be associated with hyperparathyroidism, and 30% of these cases occur in case of multiple endocrine neoplasia 1 syndrome. And in the pathophysiology part of this Zollinger Elson syndrome, we have a gastrinoma secreting excess gastrin hormone causing hypergastrinemia, and this hypergastrinemia will cause the gastric mucosa to hypertrophy and increase in parietal cells number. These are cells that produce hydrochloric acid. And so it will cause an increased maximum hydrochloric acid output due to these increased parietal cells. And this causes a gastric ulceration, diarrhea, and malabsorption. In your clinical manifestations, you will be having peptic ulcer disease, Islet lung hair non beta cell tumor, that's a gastrinoma, and gastric acid hypersecretion. This is the clinical triad for Zollinger Elson syndrome. And on your history, you realize this patient will be having diarrhea, heavy gastric pain, heartburn, weight loss, and GI bleeding. When you conduct a physical examination, you realize they have pallor, jaundice, epigastric tenderness, and hepatomegaly in case of hepatic metastasis. On your investigations, you conduct fasting gastrin levels, full blood count, and you realize they are anemic, amylase to differentiate from pancreatitis, then clotting screen and close matching of blood if bleeding ulcers are present. Also, you measure the level of calcium, phosphates, and parathyroid hormone in case you suspect multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. Increased pH is seen. Secretin stimulation test will show a dramatic increase in serum gastrin in response to a secretin infusion. Upper gastrointestinal endoscopy and biopsy to exclude a malignancy. And also localization of a tumor yield conduct somatostatin receptor imaging with oculoscan scan and SPECT, endoscopic ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, angiography and arterial stimulation and venous sampling. In your management, you use a high dose of PPIs like omeprazole 60 mg daily to reduce acid secretion, regular follow-up of endoscopy and biopsy to monitor hyperplasia in the gastric mucosa, and chemotherapy with doxorubicin or temozolomide may be used in metastatic gastrinoma. Surgery may be done in case you want to remove this gastrinoma after identifying it. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, it's easy made.